Have you figured out your niche? Are you helping adding value to other people's lives? Then you're in the right place. Welcome to Munira's Musings with your host, co-author of Conversations with Top Real Estate Investors, Volume 3, Munira Zahabi. Greetings from Chicago land. Welcome to another episode of Manira Using. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. And I uh, have my friend Gregory all the way from Sweden here. And he's going to talk to us about how, how he became the great coach. And I say it right, right? Great, did you? Absolutely. <laughs> So thank you so much. I know you're working in your mobile office. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and working with us today. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So before we dive in and figure out why Gregory is a gratitude coach and how he became a gratitude coach, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I live in Chicago. I I'm the niche navigator. I'm in the process of moving. So there's a little few things that are not in place today. But you know what? It is what it is. But there's so much go on. So here we are. I help coaches and business entrepreneurs find and market to their niche. And I think a niche is the cornerstone of your business because that's where you build your business. It's your, it's your foundation. You have to have one niche, but as you grow, like a branch on a tree, you can have many niches. And, you know, that having a niche and your target audience is going to sprout you like a mung bean because that's how sprouts are made, right? Or healthy for you too. But you have to have that first niche. My show, Munira's Musings, has come about because, you know, it's an extraordinary story. I met one person who was doing extraordinary things, and I wanted to share that message with everybody of what she was doing, because she didn't think she was doing so much stuff. My thinking is, this is my way of being in front of people, exposing them and promoting them in my own way, because you know what? Everybody needs a helping hand. Not only that, I need a helping hand, so maybe you are the one that's helping me. If you want to be on my show, go ahead and message me. We'll find a time, and we do these shows on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. And I know I can accommodate anybody. So if you have a niche, get on my show. Thank you so much. Gregory, tell us a little bit about yourself. So as... You probably already know, my name is Gregory Downey, and a lot of people know me as the Gratitude Coach. I grew up in Northern California and uh, lived in Utah for a number of years. I'm the author of a best-selling book called Attract, that uh, contributed to by Dr. Joe Vitale, who is a star from The Secret. I came into the coaching space exactly January of 2005. Uh, I started with Dr. or with Jack Canfield and Dr. Stephen Covey at a organization called the Professional Education Institute, and we were a coaching provider for a number of personalities, and um, we provided coaching actually for Robert Kiyosaki um, and a whole host of, of other individuals that provided content, and we delivered the coaching. And um, from there... Uh, went on my journey into coaching and moved, uh, eventually moved to a company where I started providing coaching for Nightingale Company, for Joe Vitale, for um, Vishan Lakiani, uh, a whole list of individuals that are uh, notable names in the personal development coaching space. And in 2015, I was uh, voted here and um, from there, I went on to develop my own brand, The Gratitude Coach, and uh, started marketing myself as a speaker, as an author, and uh, that is actually what eventually led to me being here in Sweden, where I'm now the in-house executive coach for a company 
of, other, of over 400 employees. And uh, I coach the executives and I coach, actually I do group coaching for everybody in the company uh, from the bottom up. So it doesn't matter where you are in the company, I offer executive level group coaching. And then I offer executive coaching for uh, the executives and high potentials. And I actually am an executive now for the company. I'm the chief strategist and, uh, and I work with everybody in the company on their mindset and uh, on culture, communication, anything to do with high performance, um, thinking and behavior. You know, that's awesome. So, you know, all the way from United States to Sweden, you know, that's a dream, right? How long have you been in Sweden? I've been in Sweden now for a year and a half. And since I've been in Sweden, I've worked with people in over 30 countries. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So tell me what a gratitude coach does. So what a gratitude coach does, I actually coined the term gratitude because everybody understands gratitude, right? That, that, that in order to get the results that you want, in order to be abundant, in order to fully, um, to fully benefit from law of attraction, you have to have gratitude. But one of the things that I've discovered as a coach and I was actually just explaining this earlier today, that 85 to 90% of the people that I've worked with have had a limiting belief about their worthiness to be successful. And so in short, people just typically don't know what their greatness is. You know, they struggle to recognize their own greatness and when we talk about gratitude, your level of gratitude is how grateful you are. Your level of gratitude is the level that you recognize your own greatness. So the, the, the more you recognize your greatness, the higher your level of gratitude. I love what you're sharing with us. So let me ask you a question. How does one know, one, they're great, right? And two, how do they find the gratitude? The gratitude. Yep. <laughs> So, <laughs> you know, gratitude, uh, well, a person, a person begins to discover their greatness when they're willing to acknowledge the things that they love and appreciate about themselves. Okay. And we live in a society where uh, people can be really quite selfish. People can be motivated by their own desire to to uh, achieve ahead of other people and when we get feedback um, we typically don't get feedback when we're doing well we typically get feedback when we're not doing well and so if you look at children yeah when you look at children children tend to get feedback when they're doing something wrong and they don't get a lot of feedback when they're doing something right so when we grow up to become adults uh, we don't generally have people that are telling us how amazing we are, right? And sometimes we don't recognize our own greatness. And so one of the things that I teach people is to learn to recognize and value who they are as an individual, what their talents are, and what they have to offer the world around them. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, my belief is that our primary purpose in this life is to become a creator, right? Not just to experience life as a participant, but to create stuff to enhance life, create things that help people to have a better life. And the bigger impact that you have on other people and helping them to have a better life, the greater your gratitude. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, thank you so much. That's deep. <laughs> that's very deep. So how do you help people achieve that? So the first step is to figure out what, what are their beliefs? You know, what do they believe a about themselves? What do they believe about other people? And what do they believe about the world? Right? Because all limiting belief falls into those three categories. Either you have a limiting belief about yourself in some way, you have a limiting belief about other people, or you have a limiting belief about the world. And those limiting beliefs are what keep people stuck. And when people are stuck and they don't know how to move forward, they, you know, they may feel inspiration. They may even feel motivated. But if their beliefs 
are not in alignment with their desires, then they end up getting stuck, right? Um, the way that, uh, that I was taught by Joe Vitality is that we call that counterintention. So a person can look at you and say, well, you know, I'd really like to make cookies. But in reality, they keep making cake. And so what I do is I help people look and identify, well, what are the beliefs that keep you from doing what you really want to do? You may be super productive in this area and you may be getting great results, you know, over here on the right side, but maybe you're climbing up the wrong ladder. And when people get to a point where they're stuck, a lot of times they don't know how to get out of that by themselves. They try to logic themselves out of it. And you really can't do that. You need somebody that can look from the outside and help you to identify what the beliefs are that are keeping you from doing what it is that you've actually said that you want to do. Ah, okay. That's awesome. You said you wrote a book. I didn't catch the name. What was the book? So the book is called Attracting Miracles. Attracting Miracles. How do you yep. find the book? Um, so you can actually... Uh, you can get it at Barnes & Noble. You can get it at Amazon. You can get it at any major bookseller. Uh, if you are in the Intermountain West area, you can actually get it through the Deseret Book Chain. So it's published on uh, Motivational Press, and they're my publisher. They're based out of San Diego, California. But you can get it wherever, wherever you know, paperbacks are sold generally. So. so you don't have a Kindle version? Yep, there's a Kindle version. Yep. Oh, okay. Get it on Amazon, right? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So, you know, this is something that, that is really near and dear to my heart because even when I was growing up, we didn't have, the, you know, the accolades every, every day, you, you know, every day accolades. You were to work hard, you get good grades, and if you are not one first, second, or third in your class, then you are, you know, oh, you're just a student going to the next class. And so everybody's focus was what's your rank if you will if you are you know in the system that i was in now as kids are getting older and i see that with the younger fellows every time they do something they color or you know you can't just say don't use paint you have to say i wonder why you use paint tell me a little bit about that you know so you have to bring that that thought process into the child's life, but you're also helping them and showing them the accolades that you are talking about. The feeling is everybody is great and everybody needs to grow up that way. Now, we didn't have them. So people like you, are, not about you, but me, people like me who kind of self-talk us out of everything else, you know, we have those gremlins in our head. What advice do you tell people? Because I find people with niches who always have that limited belief that I'm not good enough. Yeah. So that's very interesting because, because here's the thing. I always ask people, you know, and, and it's, it's kind of cliche, especially in personal development. <clears throat> and a lot of people ask it, you know, well, if, if you knew you couldn't fail, what would your goals be, right? But people don't take the next step and really make it worthwhile. You know, you can imagine, you know, everything if you knew that you couldn't fail. But the question is, well, how can you demonstrate to somebody that they can't fail? Right now, a lot of people are asked, well, if you knew you couldn't fail, what would your goals be? Well, you know, my goals would be this, that, or the other thing. <clears throat> what I try to do is to help people understand that you can't fail, that really there is no failure. The only way that you fail is either you don't start or you give up along the way. But here's something that's very important. Every idea, every inspiration, right? Every, everything that, um, that drives you and motivates you that comes from the inside comes from a divine source, right? When you feel inspired, that word, that Latin word, inspiration or inspiratu means to breathe life into. And so when we're inspired to do something, when we're inspired to build a business or to help other people or to make a difference in society, whatever it is that we feel called to do, that calling, that inspiration comes from the divine. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't going to be challenges. That doesn't mean that you might experience, you know, obstacles and, and, and 
there, it doesn't mean that you might not stop at some point along the way. But it does mean that if you get started and you don't quit, the only thing that you can do is succeed. The universe, the divine, doesn't put things into you as a joke, right? But the universe is not capricious, as we say. The universe doesn't say, you know, I'm going to really inspire you with this great idea. But <laughs> it's not going to work out, right? That's not how it works. If the universe calls you to it, the universe will take you through it, right? The only way that you will fail is if you don't take action or you give up along the way. But everything else is a guarantee that you will succeed. If you're inspired to do it, there is no other option except to have success. You know, you bring a good point. I'm going to just completely out of context, but this is what um, somebody had. I had said something on my uh, Facebook post a few months ago, you know, what's the best way to save money? <laughs> and one smart Alec person had said, don't spend it. <laughs> You know, so you bring that good point because the, the only way you you will su not succeed is to not stop, right? That's, that's exactly what it is. Don't spend your brain power and, you know, you'll be where you are. So thank you so much for sharing that. How do people find you? So I'm all over social media. You can find me on Facebook. Um, if you go to Facebook and you look up uh, The Gratitude Coach, if you go to Facebook and you look up Attracting Miracles book, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me, uh, I actually recently just started an Instagram. And so uh, I've got one of my daughters that's helping me figure that out because, you know, Instagram, a little bit younger, a little bit more, a uh, little bit more social savvy. And, and it's still a little bit new for me, but I'm, I'm figuring that out. And, uh, and so I'm all over. You can, you can find my book, as you mentioned, um, you can find my book on Amazon. You can go to Barnes and Noble and order it there. If you're in the Intermountain West, you can get it at Deseret Book. Uh, I'm really accessible. And if you have any questions or if you just want to get to know me and say hi, stop by any of my social media outlets and just, you know, add me, send me a message. I'm really approachable. And I typically try to make time for most people. So, so just one question before we sign off. Do you also private coaching. I know you're working in an executive capacity right now, but do you also do private coaching for people who want it? Yep. yep. If, if somebody wants private coaching and uh, it's a good fit and there's a fit in my schedule, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now, so great, great, gratitude is spelled with great, G-R-E-A-T, not gratitude. So just say that. So if you're looking for the gra gratitude coach, that's why it's a play on words takes a yeah, minute yeah. for us to figure it out. But he coined it, so he's going to own it. <laughs> yeah, so it's very well branded. When you go to my social media, you'll see that it's in all of my branding. And, and uh, you know, once you figure out, oh, it's gratitude, it's a lot easier to say. Yes, and so thank you so much for being on my show. I appreciate it very much. And you know what? I love the, what you're doing with people and the mindset because that's where it all begins up here. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video and want to share it, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. That's number one. Number two, look out for this guy. You know, watch out. I think he does Facebook Live, so that's how I found him. And he has good content. I'm not going to tell you everything, but you have to go look for it. But the thing is, here's, here's the thing. It all starts with you. It all starts in the mind. And you have to make that if you want it badly, make it happen. And we as coaches, we are out here to help you. It doesn't matter if you go with me or you go with Gregory or you find somebody else. It doesn't matter. You just need someone to nudge you and hold you accountable. So take that first step. I know your greatness is within you. Did I say that? Yep. Let's go find it because I know that you're dying to do something different. Thank you so much. Thank Have a you. good day. Thank you for listening to this episode of Munira's Musings with your host, Munira Zahabi. If you enjoyed our show, please share and subscribe to this channel. And for more content, please join our Facebook group called Navigate to Your Niche.